Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast review. And today we're going to take a look at Buck Baringly, the veteran Vuzine Piston Cup Racer number 39 from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So Buck Baringly is a veteran is an Axello Vision EA Piston Cup Racer that was sponsored by Vuzine and bore the number 39. And he had previously replaced the other Vuzine racer, Ryan Shields, from Cars 1. And in 2016, he was one of the racers that had to attend the Dynaco Light 350 at the Motor Speedway of the South, the Dynaco 400 at Copper Canyon Speedway, and was one of the remaining stock car racers to participate in the LA 500 at the Los Angeles International Speedway of 2016. And before the Florida 500 right, of February of 2017 at Florida International Speedway, he was replaced by a next-gen racer named Michael Rodor. Rodor. So anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his happy facial expression, his black grill and headlights and a number 39. And on the the hood and on the hood we've got the Vuzine logo saying Vuzine corrective windshields. And on the left side we've got the black rims on the Lightyear racing tires and the Lightyear on the front fenders and the number 39, the Vuzine logo and the gas cap and the and the slogan corrective windshields and the a bit of orangish yellow lining at the bottom and the red arrow indicating a pity to lift him up and a few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cub, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid and on the top we've got another number 39 no name signature on the trunk we've got the Vusing logo and the in the and on the back we've got the taillights, the Vusing logo, and the camera, and on the bumper we've got the slogan corrective windshields and the number 39. And on the right side, similar design but completely different. And that is it. Now let's compare them to the other er, Vusing racers like Ryan Shields, for example. And here are some differences and similarities. Both race in the Piston Cup for Vuzine. Both are number 39, but here are some differences. Ryan Shields has a, is a crown Celesta and has an angry facial expression. And Ryan Shields has, is an XL Fish on EA and has a happy facial expression. No name signature on the top. Both have the black grill and the view zine on the trunks. Number 39 on taillights, 39 underneath taillights. Both have the number 39 on the left side on both sides and the slogan corrective windshields and the Vuzine logo and the gas caps and but here are some blue rims on light year tires black rims on light year tires exhaust pipe on both sides exhaust pipe on the left side several contingency sponsors saying piston cup nitroid revolting octane gain mood springs finally no stall gaskets gasparin easy idle rpm little torque pistons leakless retread and clutch aid lesser sponsors saying piston cup revitaline revolting rpm nitroid octane gain clutch aid the Vuzine logo at the back and the slogan corrective windshields on the back bumpers 39 on taillights, 39 on back bumper. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that Buck has the exhaust pipe at the right. 
and Ryan Shields will have to be a review for another day. And now for... Oh, and I forgot to mention, mention the, the differences of the Vuzine logo. 2005 logo, 2016 logo, But the comparison between Buck and Michael will, again, will have to be a review for another day. And now let's pull up some of the other XL Fission EA Piston Cup racers. We've got Brick Yardley, Brian Spark, The Rev and Go Racer, aka Joshua Josh Leverson, Doug Throttleman, Tommy Highbanks, Parker Brixton, and Terry Cargaz, even though he resembles Cal Weathers. And the other Exilo vehicles, like Mac Icar, who is a normal Fijan, Cora Copper, who is a Rapido SI, and Manny McGear, who is a Microlux. And that is it. So, what do you got? And now let's pull up some of the other views in racers. We've got Ryan Shields and Michael Rodor. But, but a review, but a separate review for Ryan Shields and Michael Rodor will have to be another day. Now, but what do you, so what do you think? Which Fusing racer is your favorite. Which XL Vision EA Piston Cup racer is your favorite? And which XL vehicle is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below as well as suggestions of which car should I review next. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, please consider the support by checking out my other videos on my channel for public watch time. I would it would really appreciate it very, very much. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!